Hi, I'm Destiny Soidia. Let's see, I've been... How did I get into it? Well, for, it's going to be 17 years now that I was uh, an actress and model, which I still am. <laughs> and I got into filmmaking six years ago with my own film company called Lady Destiny's Production. I just finished doing the film logo, an anime one, <laughs> animation one. And so my friend's uh, working on, um, he's a composer, so he's working on the sound and sound effects and stuff like that. So <laughs> I'm excited for it. Um, yeah, I I, uh, I got into it after I was acting and modeling and being on sets for a very long time that I decided that I wanted to do my own films. And I wasn't going anywhere where I used to live in Los Angeles. Like, I've been busy a lot but that's just other people's stuff and I wanted to do my own thing like I always see remakes and it's just the old same things and I'm like we need something crazy we need something different so I started making my own films uh, my my first film was a music video called some some things like something it was supposed to be for a, a well-known band but it wasn't going the right way I wanted to and so this uh local band in Minnesota called Throw the Fight which I love their music they have one song that they let me use for their for a music video and so this music video is like a, a, a seven minute short film with their song and I like I like doing stories I love telling stories through like 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 a music video or like a feature film like I have a couple of uh scripts I a feature film scripts that I'm doing that I want to make a movie out there's one that's a oh, non-stop action pack about a about a girl who's on a, a journey to to uh to put ashes to her uh, ashes of her mom into a spot that they they like to go camping at um she passed away from breast cancer so I'm doing like an action pack live like military style kind of film and the other one is a, a barbarian one it's about a demigod, a demigoddess who is half a uh, wolf and half human, and she's a shapeshifter. And her mom was, uh, is it Lupi Lupa, the the goddess who uh, trains demigods for war and stuff. So I wanted to do a, a backstory on on this one goddess and have her have kids, and one of them survives and she goes on the journey. So it's kind of mixed with like Xena, Hercules, Red Sonia, and Barbarian the Red, but uh, Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian, what's he, what's, I like the 80s style kind of films. So I like doing kind of 80s style films. And so the, the music video went to a couple of uh, film festivals, which, which got, you know, officially selected here and there. And, um, it's on YouTube, but it was like, it's like a backstory of a, a girl who's getting abused by her, her boyfriend and her boy, her boyfriend tries to kill her her and she becomes a vampire a vampire falls well watches her and falls in love with her and he turned her and then she goes on a, re a revenge uh to get her boyfriend back who keeps abusing her so that's uh throw the fight uh weakest hour so that's on youtube uh right now i'm working on a, sh uh, a short horror film called christmas slasher which is an 80s style cheesy film that I actually am going to make it into a feature film now. Um, since this virus happened, we had to put on hold to finish the short film. And I'm not sure when we're going to get to it. But I decided that I'm going to write the full length script and make it a feature film. Now, Christmas Slasher is about a uh, Miss Claus and Santa Claus and Rudolph. But they are zombed out monsters that go on a rampage of revenge for the rest of the reindeers that got killed by a couple of people who went and kidnapped them and hunted them and killed them. <laughs> so it's very dark humor kind of horror film. <laughs> I have Miss uh, Felissa Rose, Nicholas Brandon, and Lloyd uh, in it. And so I, uh, I, I brought in these horror icons, which is amazing. It's awesome. And I'm like, we're going to make a feature film now. <laughs> So I know some of them are on still uh, still on board with that, and they're they love to work with me, and that's pretty cool. I'm very happy about that. So that's what we're doing right now is working on that, and there is going to be a teaser hopefully in of this 
uh, up on end of this month. Um, what would I give give advice to new film filmmakers or anybody that's in the film entertainment? Keep going. Don't hold back. Don't listen to anybody. Don't let anybody put you down. Keep going. Even if you're not experienced, just keep going. Uh, learn. Uh, go to classes, acting classes, filmmaking classes. Um, I usually go on set as an extra. I love being an extra. And I just learn from being on set. Also, social networking uh, um, events. Go to events like that you get to meet a lot of people um just keep just grab just grab onto all these like things that have to do with filming and get on board on those um you're gonna have a lot of people who say things a lot of setbacks you're gonna have people who will cross you there's a lot of very ugly ugly heart bad ugly people on film com in this film community which is really sad uh just be careful who you work with. Uh, do research on them. And just be nice. You you have to have a nice, kind heart. Um, I have learning disability and ADHD and other things. Um, it makes it hard for me to do a lot of things. And it's, it, 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 it upsets me, but I still fight. I still try my best to get where I need to be in life and just be creative. Like, I have... Like I said, I have two feature films. Now, because I'm not sure will be a feature film, so I have three scripts I need to do. A, sh a short that I have to redo again because people, very nasty, mean people, have ruined that. So I have to redo it again. It's okay. The more you get into this social networking events, the more you get into sets, the more you know more people, there's going to be people out there that love to help you who love to work who have the passion like you you have to have a passion for this you have to work 24 7 to do this or it won't work so it was really hard to um it it's just hard but if you love it and you're passionate about it and it's your it's it's your love you're you're gonna work it no matter what so keep going keep doing what you have to do and fight for what you believe in and fight for your love for this because it, it everybody you meet half of half of them will treat you like crap and half of them will be like nope we're i want to do this i want to help you and i have a good good a lot of i have a lot of good people i almost like quit christmas last year because i had so many people who drop out who wasn't taking this seriously and who were drinking on my sets and <laughs> ruin footage footage trust me it's gonna happen just keep fighting for it keep doing what you have to do to get where you need to be at keep working hard make that money so you can make these films um woman in horror is uh felissa felissa rose she's helped me a lot she taught me a lot about how to budget the money and what i need to do and stuff like that for films um she she helped me out i love you <laughs> she helped me out a lot I appreciate her for teaching me because learning disability is really hard because sometimes I don't understand things or it gets too overwhelming and and I tell people this I warn people like hey I have this so you need to like calm down and let me try to figure out things like you have to communicate with me and that was the pro problem was people were miscommunicating with me and they wouldn't I would not understand them so just keep working just do what you gotta do love it um I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Just look up uh, at Destiny Soria, D E S T I N Y S O R I A, and in Twitter it's Destiny Soria One. And yeah, just, I'm everywhere. Christmas Lash is on Facebook too. <laughs> All right, but keep going. Fight for your dream. Fight for what you love. Make it a reality, and just keep pushing. Get your get your hands on everything you can in the film entertainment. Don't waste too much money. Don't go to these $1,000 shops. Don't do that. You don't need to. There's a lot of other free things to do. YouTube it. Google it. Trust me, there's other ways of getting out there without paying so much money. <laughs> and yeah, we do your research on people too. Love you. Thank you.